Hey there, welcome back to How to Blender, the channel dedicated to answering your questions about Blender. And today's tip is gonna change your life because I'm gonna show you how to download pre rigged pre-animated characters for free. So let's get right into it. All right, so how do we go about doing that? So let's open a new tab in your browser and let's type in the web address that is Mixamo.com and the link to it will be available in the description as well, as well as you can see the spelling on your screen right now in case you want to know how to spell it. So as soon as you hit enter, you will be directed to a page like this, right? And so you can either click on browse characters here or just click on characters over here. Now there's a bunch of characters that pops up as soon as you click on that. Now you can choose any of those that you think is good for you. So I'm going to choose this one, right? And yeah, once you click on the character, then it gives you an option to find animations for those specific characters. So I'm going to click on find animation. Now you can search for different type of animations. There are only a certain set of it. But again, this should be enough to just give a generic output to your character, right? So I'm going to just go ahead and look for a walking animation and a bunch of them pops up right so i'm just gonna select a simple walking animation here and as soon as i click on that now there are different options that are appearing right so it takes a second to load the animation to the character but in the meantime let me actually explain these options here so the very first one is overdrive so overdrive is basically the speed your character is walking in right so i'm i can reduce it to let's say let's bring it down to 10 yeah now you can see that it's walking really slow right and then we've got character arm speed now you can increase it or reduce it just basically the spaces between the arms of your character right so that is what it does and the next one is trim trim is basically the length of your animation you can increase it to 150 frames or 200 frames but that's the maximum it goes you can just basically play with these options and just customize the animation to suit your needs now then we've got two other checkboxes here one is the mirror and one is in place so mirror will just basically mirror the animation and in place uh, will instead of character going forward where uh, in the walking animation it's just gonna repeat that animation in the same place right so you might need that in some cases so it's, it's best to know that that option is available for you now uh, once you have selected all your relevant requirements here you just click on download now for blender the one that i generally use is dot dae format now you can also choose whether you want it with skin or without skin that's just basically if you want the textures in it or not you can also choose the uh, frames per second that you want the animation to be so either 30 60 or 24 if you want it to be really slow just you can go with 24 keyframe reduction just keep it none and just click on download right as soon as you click on download uh, it's gonna start downloading a dot zip file for you and you'll get a file like this that says walk in so to use the file you'll first do a right click and then click on extract all and then just extract it in the same location now as soon as that happens a new folder uh, or new window explorer opens up which basically just shows you the textures and the AE file that we just downloaded. All right, so now that we have a character downloaded, we're gonna learn how to import that character into our Blender scene. So let's quickly go ahead and click on new and general and just open a new Blender scene here. And I'm gonna go to the render preview mode. And to import our character, I'm gonna click on file, import, and then click on this dot DAE. Because if you remember, that's the format that we downloaded it in. Now, as soon as you click on that, the dialog box appears. Let's quickly navigate to the location where we have extracted our character data over here i'm going to come here and select the walking.dae file and click on import now as soon as i do that can you see that the character is here but it's completely black right and that's because the textures didn't get imported properly so to fix that now it generally happens in blender so there is a way to fix that do that you just simply go ahead and x out of the texture that it came in with and then click on a new texture select your principal bsdf and just click on Control shift t now you have to ensure that you have the node wrangler add-on enabled if you don't just click on edit preferences and click on add-ons and just search for node so node wrangler so click on your principal bsdf once again Control shift t and this dialog box appears just quickly locate the location where we have the textures that are downloaded from Mixamo. select all the three textures and click on principal texture setup as soon as you do that it automatically goes ahead and sets it up for you and since the character is already mapped 
by the UV and everything, it, it will just quickly go ahead and align it accordingly. And you can just simply hit play or the space bar and your animation will start playing up as well. Now you can adjust it and face it, rotate it, however you want. And yeah, that's, that's how you simply download and animate the character for free. So I really hope that this video was helpful and you guys liked it. So if you did, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.